Nisha has been set to judicial custody till the 1st of August, refusing to entertain the Enforcement Directorate's plea seeking an extended custody. PMLA court has now remanded Jignesha to judicial custody. Ritu Singh and Naveen Shetty have been tracking that case uh, for many hours now and they join in now from outside the PMLA court. Uh, guys, uh, in a way, it's good news for Jignesha who can at least now apply for bail. Take us through what transpired in court today and what exactly has what exactly is the verdict and when can we expect Jignesha to actually apply bail? Absolutely. It has come as a big relief for Jagnesha, in fact, because now that he has been remanded into judicial custody instead of police custody earlier, he does have the right to seek bail, and we understand he will do that very soon. Uh, under the police custody, he could not, it was a non-bailable offense, and he could not uh, seek bail, so therefore this is some sort of relief. Uh, the primary arguments in court today were that the ED council argued they needed further uh, time for questioning, they needed more, uh, they asked for another five days for questioning, but clearly uh, the judge ruled in favor of Jagnesh Shah's counsel who said uh, there is no fresh FIR, only one FIR was filed so far, uh, and all the questioning was only incremental in nature. In fact, Naveen, uh, the primary reason why the judicial custody granted today is because uh, ED lawyers even admitted to miscommunication to some extent where they said there was fresh evidence that they had in hand. Yeah, very true. So what they, uh, uh, the one thing which Jignesha's counsel had harped upon today was there was no incremental or fresh evidence. Also, one thing which on which uh, on the plank that the uh, yeah, Jignesha's counsel had argued is that uh, ED wanted more time to uh, basically question the other accused in this case. So they told that it is unfair on the part of the ED to ask more time for questioning Jignesha uh, as and when the when the ED has to go ahead and argue the other accused, namely Anjani Sinha. Uh, 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 Joseph Matthew, uh, basically these guys. So this is one reason why uh, the court might have gone ahead and given them a judicial and given Jignesha a judicial custody till the 1st of August. And as you rightly pointed out, this will turn out to be a big relief because now they uh, they can or any day go ahead and file for a, a bail application. In fact, on the 3rd and 4th of August is the dates given for the other defaulters to be present for that place to be closed. Remember, all the 67 accused named in ED's first charge sheet filed in May 2016 were called uh, today. Uh, they were asked to make uh, themselves present, but that case for now has been uh, pushed further to August 3rd and 4th. That's when we'll hear updates from then. But till 1st of August, Jignesha remains in judicial custody, and we expect him to move the court, uh, court very shortly to seek bail, and there will be some relief, therefore, for Jignesha.